Sims 4, we're gonna finish building a multi-million dollar mansion that I have been trying to finish for over a year. Here it is, I have built the exterior. I have built the secret basement, the first floor. And now we have two more floors to furnish that we're gonna do today, plus the towers that are up top here too. The current price we're sitting at is just over six million simoleons. My budget was five million. So this is the remainder of the money that we have left. We might spend all that, we might not. We've already smashed our goals here, but let's see how expensive we can get it. This is the final episode of Bloomcrest, which feels crazy to say. Bloomcrest is a series on my channel where we rebuilt Newcrest, but every lot had to increase in price. I will link the playlist down below if you guys want to binge all that. So let's start off with the second floor here. So for our floor plan, we're going to have a library over to this side. We're going to have a bathroom, a walk-in closet room, a security room with a secret entry into another weird security room. We'll call it the listening room where she's gonna spy on the neighborhood. She's a little corrupt if you couldn't tell. Then down here we're gonna have a main bedroom which includes a bathroom and of course a main hall right here. Going upstairs we're gonna have the main hall area. We're gonna have a bedroom here, a bathroom, another secret room with like stolen things in it, a laundry room up top, another bedroom, a massage parlor, and a gym. These bedrooms here are going to be themed because as you can tell there are ladders leading up to the towers. Some of them are a secret. You can see this one has been closed off by a secret bookcase because up top we're gonna have a weather control room, a raid room, a yoga meditation room, and a really cool observatory to finish it all off with glass roofing which I've changed. And a lot of these ideas did come from the comment section which you guys came through with those. So thank you so much to everyone who commented. All right let's start over here with the library. So for expensive bookshelves we have a couple options here. We've We've got this one from Get Famous, which I don't mind in this blue swatch here. So I might put like a couple of those. We can always fill them up too with clutter to make the bookshelves look a little bit different. And we have this one here from Base Game. So I think I'm gonna do maybe a combination of these. We can line the middle here with the Base Game ones, just like putting them beside each other like this. And this is gonna section off like separate areas of this library here too. We need our fine vine curtains. The owner of this house is named Will vine after all, which I must say <laughs> is a pretty cool villain name. Maybe over here we can put another grandfather clock, maybe another bookshelf over here in this corner. And I was thinking about putting some of these chairs in here too. We need to have like a seating area, somewhere where they can come and like read the books in here, chill out. I wasn't quite sure what to put in this room because on the balcony over here we have like our dartboard, foosball table, and hot tub. But I mean reading a book in the hot tub sounds like a great time to me. <laughs> I was thinking since we found out how expensive some of these books are, we could fill up some of these shelves with those. We're gonna need clutter anyway, so we could add like these random vampire books for a thousand each. She is superstitious, so I feel like we could have some occult stuff in here. And we can also put up maybe some like base game shelves above these couches here. Then we can add more clutter on there, like antiques or knickknacks. We're gonna grab the most expensive rug and I'm gonna shrink it down. Maybe we can put like a coffee table over it. We'll add some plants in here, just aiming for like a cozy, planty little reading room. Okay, so here is our library room. I've added some clutter, like trophies and stuff onto the shelves. These antique books on the coffee table. These like pens over here <laughs> up on the shelf are pretty pricey too. And of course, we've got our socialite book and our mischief book. Very fitting here for this build. Okay, going in order, we have a bathroom to take care of back here. And again, we have done so many of these already in this house. House. All of them are gonna have the 12,000 simoleon bathtub, the 5,000 simoleon toilet, this shower here from Get Famous if I can fit it, and this expensive sink here also from Get Famous. Probably also combined with this mirror just because these are the most expensive bathroom things that I can put. And I've also been sneaking some of the like in-game art into the bathrooms too. So for this one, how about a little jazz cat action here? That is pretty much going to be the recipe for all of our bathrooms in this build so if I do anything cool like I have a big bathroom that I have to do then I'll show you guys but if not then I'll just show you all the bathrooms when I'm done. Alright so here is our first bathroom on the second floor. I added a hamper over here. We've got some wall decor stuff. Of course our expensive picture and this is what the other side is looking like. Okay I feel like next we should do the bedroom and I've set this up so that we have a platform up here and that's where we're gonna put our bed. So for the bed we're gonna be using the most expensive 
expensive one, which is this one here. And I'm gonna put that right there for now. I want this bedroom to look royal, pretty, but still a little bit like on the darker side. So I'm gonna go in with these columns here and I'm gonna add some walls here so that I can attach on some curtains. We're gonna stick with these sheer ones that I've been using and I'm just going to like attach them onto my columns. Maybe going this way like that. We need a little bit more light over here. We'll attach one onto that side and then I'll just attach on a curtain mount. I don't know where that random wall going through everything came from. I feel like I didn't draw it, but this is kind of gonna be like a DIY canopy bed. We'll do the same thing on this side. Then I just have to delete the wall and I might even add like a half wall over here just to add a little something else. There, I feel like it looks cool. It's interesting. Definitely adding to the $15,000 price already. Then on the side, I'm gonna add these end tables. And you might've noticed that for a multi-million dollar mansion, we don't have a whole lot of bedrooms in this house. There's a couple upstairs. I feel like that could be for like the maids or like service sims that work here. But I think for the most part, the owner of this house likes to be alone. She doesn't really have family. There's no kids, no spouse. All she really cares about is her work. And if she really wanted to have people over, she brings them down to the casino, but she rarely actually lets people stay over. She wants to hang out with people on her own time, but she's not down for people sticking around. She's just a very closed off, focused kind of person. On the wall, I'm gonna be mounting one of our pricey TVs. And even though we're gonna have a whole closet room, I am still gonna be putting some dressers. I think I'm gonna put this big one here from high school years in the corner and maybe with another matching one, just like a different type over here. We'll add a plant in the corner, some more of these lights here from growing together. I've also downloaded a whole bunch more art. This is by Banshee HVO on the gallery. All of the art that I've been using for this whole build has been by them. And of course, we're lining all of these pictures with our Vlad frame. So here we have our main bedroom. We've got our super extra bed over here. This picture, which I thought the colors on there looked so good in this room. Over to this side, we've got our TV area, a seating area in our bedroom. Both our dressers, I hung up some purses over there and this is going to be the main room. Next, we're gonna do the main bathroom and I want this one to be the most extra one in the whole house. I literally want to put a waterfall in here. <laughs> I was thinking about using these ones here from Spa Day and then we can put our bathtub like right there. So it'll be like a super relaxing, like very zen room. We'll get our robes hanging over on this wall. I want to add some bamboo over here maybe. I think also we can put some of these like clutter pieces here from the bathroom kit. Actually any of this stuff, anything that I can put, maybe I can like put this inside the shower and make it look like it's built in. We'll get some towels over here. I can maybe put up some more pictures on that wall. I think a pedestal here from Moschino could be cute. Maybe with like a plant on there or like some more clutter. All right, so here is our bathroom in our main bedroom. Room. This is definitely my favorite bathroom in the house. I added a couple pictures over there. Tons of clutter. We've got like towels right there. I also added these like wood wall decor pieces from Perfect Patio. Yeah, and we have our sink area over here with like everything that I could possibly add in here for clutter. <laughs> Looking very cute. Let's move on to the one that I am most excited about, which is going to be the security room. I have installed security cameras pretty much everywhere on the exterior in the basement, all over this house. And a lot of you guys were suggesting we do a security room, which is going to be such a fun and like different room to make. I'm adding these here. These are from base game and it's like a mission control desk. I want this room to be like the ones you see in the movies with all the buttons. We're gonna add these really expensive computers, but then I was thinking we could also add maybe some of the research computers. These come with the Sims 4 Discovery University and they're also 15,000. So I feel like it could be fun if we have like a variety of different options in here. For our chair, we've got the executive chair, which is a thousand each. So we'll probably do one per desk here. And then in the background, Strangerville has a lot of like this weird stuff. So we have this top secret monitor display. I'm gonna put a couple of these over here and you can actually change the swatch. So there's like something different on each of them. And then also to eat up a little bit more money, I was thinking we could add some of these really pricey cameras. It makes sense a little bit at least to be in the security room with like backup cameras. Maybe there's like hidden cameras in some places. 
uses. So I'm gonna just clutter all of the desks with these. I want there to be a ton of lights in this room, so I'm also adding some fairy lights. Top secret security room, but make it aesthetic. And then over on this wall, we have a huge like wall space right here. I'm gonna add a whole bunch of TVs, kind of like how you see in like movies when there's a whole bunch of different camera angles and stuff showing. The idea here being that every camera that I've put in the house, which is a lot, will show up on each of these different monitors. What else can I put in here that looks weird from Strangerville? Oh, there's a satellite dish from Get to Work. We can maybe shrink this and like put it back here. And then we may as well add more over here too. So I have like a little bit of extra room. We can maybe do one here, another one on the diagonal like that. I would assume the entry to this room is always locked. No one is allowed in here except for Willow. And just for a precautionary measure, I did add another secret door which leads over into this room. And I feel like in here, we should put the listening device. You can use this to spy on the neighborhood. You can like plant little devices on people and literally just like <laughs> spy on them. So I feel like in here, I should add even more monitors and maybe like a bunch of speakers. So she can not only watch the cameras, but she can also like listen to people through the speakers if she wanted to. Okay, here is our top secret security room. What the heck happened to that monitor? It looks like it's been smashed. Very interesting, but it is cool to see these like moving around in live mode. On this side, I added this scrolling thing here, which can actually add an emotional aura in here. I think it makes you focused. All of our monitors, this was quite the pricey room here. I also added a spy satellite from base game. This here is also from base game. This is a cool room. This might end up being one of my favorites in the house. We also have our listening room over here again with like a bunch of monitors. And there it is. We are ready to move on to the next room, which is going to be the walk-in closet. A lot of you guys were suggesting that we do a walk-in closet or like something along those lines in this house. So I figured why not make an entire room? The Sims 4 Get Famous has a whole bunch of like closet items, including these here, which are shoe racks. There's two different swatches for them too. We've got that one there and we have this one that has like different shoe swatches. This could honestly end up even just being like a shoe closet room. <laughs> We're gonna have mirrors all along this wall here and I'm gonna raise them up to reach the top of the wall. And I feel like a cool item we could put in here is this wardrobe platform. So I'm gonna put that facing the mirror. Your Sims can come on here and like get changed into fun outfits. And then I was also thinking that we could add this shelf here from Dream Home Decorator and on there we can just like attach on some clothing. She has only been seen wearing neutrals, so we have to make sure that we're only putting neutral clothing into our room here. And then I was thinking we could put this end table from Dine Out. And on top of there, I can just put a bunch of shoe clutter. There's also some folded shirts we could put in there, maybe some baskets and stuff. Oh, and we also have like some jewelry and makeup clutter. Maybe we can put an end table right here. And that's where we can put all of like this stuff. Like we've got the makeup. There's a watch there with some glasses. Maybe we can put an expensive chair over in this corner. All right, so we have our closet room. I pulled it all together with this rug here from Growing Together and I feel like the colors just look so cute. The black and gold, the yellow. I also added a picture over here on this side, which is kind of like a portrait style. I figured maybe that could be like her. She's so vain. I feel like it definitely probably is. So that is our closet room. And I've also finished off the hallway here. I find hallway spaces very difficult to do in mansions because it's such a big, like empty, awkward space sometimes. So I just did like a seating area over here with a fishbowl, just like random things that I thought I could put in here. There's an aquarium there from Snowy Escape. Over on this side, I've got one of those speakers, which cost a lot called the Landlord Whisperer. I quite like that one. We've got a piano right here in the middle. Again, security cameras and nights. Then over on this side, this is where I just put like a couple bookshelves and a couch over on the other side. I could probably put something in the middle here. I just don't really know what. So maybe we'll come back to it. But okay, time to go up to the third floor. And I think we're gonna start off over here in this bedroom. So like I said earlier, each of them has like a ladder leading up to the towers. And I think each of the towers will influence like the theme of of the bedroom. So since up here is going to be an observatory, this bedroom down here can be like a star space inspired kind of bedroom. This is going to be one of the only guest rooms in the entire house. Obviously we're gonna be using another one of the pricey beds. And I kind of like about Willow that she's very particular about who she lets in her life. Sure, she's hosting a 
lot, having people over, partying. But when it comes to who she lets stay with her, she's very selective. For the space theme, there's a couple things we could add. There's like some of the moon lamp options we could put. We have some star decorations I could probably put on the wall. Like these ones here from Seasons. Since she's so superstitious, I feel like Willow also believes in astrology. And it's cool that whoever stays here would get to use the observatory for themselves too. So we're gonna make that really cozy once we get up there. Oh, we definitely need like the moon mirror. Maybe we can put that over on this wall. Everyone is getting a TV and maybe I could use this dresser here. I kind of like the green swatch with it. We could also maybe put some occult stuff in this one. Like we've got the crystal broomstick. Maybe this is where we could also have some like crystal decor hanging around. And I'm using these fairy lights, but I know we also have those star ones that came recently. I think they're base game. Yeah, these. Okay, I'm gonna save these. We'll put those upstairs in the actual observatory. I'll just like put them there for now. Okay, so we have our space inspired guest room here. We've got our vanity over there. I added this picture, which I thought looked really cute in here. We have our crystal collection slash dresser over here with our TV. And this is going to be our space inspired bedroom. I love that we're associating the bedrooms with the theme of the tower too. So once we finish this floor, we're gonna come back and do that. But for our next room here, we're gonna do a laundry slash cleaning room. This is the room with a secret door leading up to where the weather control room is going to be. I'm assuming this is where the maids would be hanging out most often. And they must know that at least this is a secret door, right? Like after working in this house, I feel like you would probably know or have an idea that there's something behind there. So maybe the maids are like determined to figure out what's back there. Like they're trying to get the key. They're trying to get close to Willow, but obviously that's not very easy to do. I think in here, we're also going to put our vacuums. We'll put some extra hampers here too, a broom on the wall, and maybe just some extra things like folded blankets and baskets and our beloved Roomba from Cats and Dogs. Okay, so here is our laundry slash cleaning room. I feel like honestly, this room is probably one big fire hazard. <laughs> Unless our maids are really on top of like cleaning the lint traps, this room could turn kind of ugly, but that's none of our business. <laughs> Karma's probably going to get Willow eventually, especially with the next room that we're going to be building, which is going to be our stolen item room. This is where we're going to put a lot of really expensive things. Like we can put these 5,000 simoleon trunks, for example. I might actually just like stack a few on top of each other. And we actually also have some stolen things in game. Like we have the stolen necklace of the late Duchess Pinky. We can put that in there. Also a stolen ATM we can put in here. And the thing with Willow is she actually owns the museum that is in Bloomcrest. So it wouldn't surprise me if some of the most expensive things went missing from time to time from the museum. Like maybe just a whole bunch of these 15,000 simoleon violins. Like technically we own the museum, so we can't feel that bad about like taking a couple things for ourselves, right? But I feel like just for good measure, we're going to attempt to make those like laser lights that you see in movies. Like the red ones that you have to like get all acrobatic to get under and like through. <laughs> Let me show you what I mean. We're going to take these strip lights from high school years and I'm going to line the walls that I just put with these just like all the way down like this. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other wall that I just put. Then I'm going to delete the wall and hope that the lights stay. Yes. Then all we have to do is change the color of the lights in this room to red and we have made ourselves some laser lights. This is so funny. I wasn't really sure if that was going to work, but this looks pretty legit. Okay, we're just going to finish this off with more like ridiculous things in here. We've also got this here, like that ray enclosed in glass. We can add some like stolen trophies in here. Like she wanted to be the winner, so she stole it and now she is. Okay, so here is our super obnoxious stolen item room. Again, this is a secret room, like with the secret bookshelf. We're gonna need more of these because I only have two options and they're getting a little obvious. That maid better mind her business. But anyway, here it is. I added more of those like trophy shelves with stolen violins, stolen artifacts in there. Honestly, if you guys saw the museum build, I feel like no one would even notice if we stole this stuff anyway, but there it is. And next we're moving over to this bedroom here, which will be below the raid room. So I was thinking this could actually be for the maid. I don't think they're going to actually live with us. I don't think Willow would want that, but maybe if they were working like a really long shift or something, they could stay the night. And I do find it kind of funny that the raid room is upstairs because maybe the maid can use that. <laughs> Working 
for Willow sounds like it wouldn't really be the best thing. And the rage room is not a secret. The ladder is right there, so you can just go up. It could be available to the maid. Willow could go up there if she wanted to. I'm giving this maid a little bit of a funky style with like this leopard print bed. I did another multi-million dollar mansion series and the maid bedroom that we built was very eccentric. It was out there. So maybe this is for the same maid. She just gets hired by all the richest families in The Sims and that's her life. She holds a lot of secrets. We're also winding down to some of the final rooms in the house and we're still over a million left in this budget. I don't know if we're gonna make it. We're gonna cut it close. We'll see. All right, so this is gonna be the second guest bedroom, probably for the maid. It's very simple in here. We've just got a dresser. We've got a TV, the computer if she wants to do some like other work or chill out. Then over here, I also did another bathroom, which is very similar to the other ones, just with our bathtub. No shower in this one because I couldn't quite fit it, but we've got like some art on the wall, just the like traditional plumbing items that we have been using. And next we're gonna move over here to our gym. The tower above this one is going to be our yoga slash meditation room and gym equipment can get pretty pricey. Like this treadmill here is 3000. So I think I'm gonna put a couple of them. We could also add a punching bag. This one also is pretty pricey. Oh, and this one, this is 3000 as well. So this one can go maybe over here in this corner. This can be where we put a whole bunch more of our TVs. And then maybe underneath these, I could put like a shelf with some towels on it. So we'll just add these base game shelves right here. And then on top of there, I'm gonna raise up some of the towels here from Spot A. I've been adding in these sneaky $1,200 clocks here. So I'm gonna put one right above there. We could also add a speaker or two in here. Definitely some mirrors here too. Maybe some like along this back wall here. And then maybe we can just put one more of the pedestals in the corner with some more towels on top. So this is our gym room. She definitely hires like a personal trainer in here, I would think. I wish I had room to add a few more machines because they actually are pretty expensive. But this is what it turned out like. We've got three treadmills. We have a couple of extra machines. And I like that it's gonna be right beside our next room, which will be the massage parlor. This is gonna be the final room that we do on the third floor. And in here, we're gonna add a bunch of these massage tables from Spa Day. These are a thousand each. I think I'm probably gonna put four of them. We can put a mirror from Jungle Adventure right in the middle. And I want this room to be super zen and relaxing. So I'm gonna add these here from Spa Day. Behind there, I'm gonna add a bunch of these like vines here. We'll add these, just making our own like plant wall. And I was hoping to add one of these chairs here too. So I'm gonna try and fit that right in that corner there. We're gonna add this plant here from Snowy Escape. Maybe like this shelf here from Paranormal. And then on that shelf from Spa Day, I could add some of these like books. We could add some like face masks. We can probably get a speaker in here too. All right, here is our massage room. The final room on the third floor all complete. It looks so relaxing and cute in here. I just added a mirror on this side and I also hid one of these like really expensive plants in there. That's the birds of paradise plant that I just like stuck into that arrangement. So our massage parlor is all complete. I also finished off the hallway here. I added a couple desks with computers. I also put some pictures on the wall. And again, hallway, I just kind of left like empty a little bit. I did add a record player over here with some more security cameras and we can finally go up and do the towers. I'm so excited to finish this series. I could literally pop a bottle of champagne. Okay, let's do the towers here. So I think I'm gonna start off with, let's do the weather control room. So the weather control device is pretty pricey, 1500 simoleons and it comes with seasons. I wanna add the cloud lights in here. I'm gonna put like a couple of them like that. And I was thinking about putting these hanging lights in here. They remind me of like the icicle lights that you would put up in the winter. So anything like weather related, I'm trying to fit in here. Should I do the cat sky mirror or the cloud cutie mirror? <laughs> I feel like I wanna do the cat mirror with the little clouds on it like that. That actually looks pretty cool. This is gonna be our weather control room. I can't really put too much in here. I need to make sure we have enough room to get up from the ladder. And this is actually such an evil room because the other family who owns like part of Bloomcrest, they own like the agriculture and like the greenhouse side of things. So if Willow were to make it not rain for months on end, then they can't make any money. Very, very evil. Next, we're gonna do our rage room. And I saw this idea in the comments. It was so funny. There is a baseball bat right here from base game. You can't actually use it. So this will not be a functional room, but there's also these box 
boxes of kindness, which are a thousand simoleons each. I feel like it would be funny if she was coming up here and smashing those. She said, screw your positivity challenge. I don't want it in my life. So she's gonna be up here smashing literal boxes of kindness. And I saw that this was in here and it's pretty pricey. So we could be smashing that too. We might just have to shrink it. I don't know how you would smash up a mattress, but it looks like it's in pieces. Maybe she did have a partner before and that was their bet. So here is our raid room. The next tower is going to be our yoga meditation room, very opposite from the raid room. So in here, obviously we're gonna have our yoga mat. Again, not a whole lot we can put in here because of the space, but we can at least put the bamboo maybe on both sides, maybe some towels over in the corner. So here is our yoga room. I just added a speaker over on the other side. We've got some clothing hooks, some towels, and the final room in the house will be our observatory. We've got a glass roof up here, so it's going to be kind of cool that like you'll actually be able to look up at the stars. We're going to need a telescope. We're going to use this one because it's the most expensive. I wanted to put those cute base game like star fairy lights, so I'm going to line the walls here with those. And I feel like it would be super cute to have like a chill area here where you can look at the telescope, but also like relax. So I'm going to put a couple pillows. You can just sit on the ground in here. And here is our observatory all finished. We've got our chair over to that side, have our pillows over here. And I just added like a globe there, something kind of fitting to the theme. And this was our final room in Bloomcrest. This has been such a long series. It's finally come to a close. This massive mansion is finally finished one year later. We didn't quite get rid of the extra added budget that I put, but I think we did a pretty good job here. The final price of this build ended up being just over 8 million simoleons. And I figured I had to show you what Bloomcrest looked like all complete and filled in with every lot filled out. I hope you guys enjoyed Bloomcrest. I will put this on the gallery under Sydney Macarena, but again, download at your own risk. It is very laggy, obviously. There's so much going on in here. But if you guys like this video and this series, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.